the solution lies in leadership. Leadership that is a forward-looking, leadership that is service, a leadership that is able to lead through the very complex issues that water is, is posing. How, how do you lead that transformation process? How do you lead that, uh, that, that, that change? Uh, how do you manage uh, that change which is uh, required? So the principal objective of this, uh, of this program is to provide a, a systematic view of developing leadership skills that are rooted in management practices, in engineering practices, in, in human uh, relations, how do you negotiate uh, 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 various uh, matters. Uh, in other words, and in shortly, how do you lead uh, the, 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 this change process? That's the essence of the program, why the three institutions got together. The role of a water professional has fundamentally changed uh, as compared to even if you look at 30 or 40 uh, years back. Uh, uh, not that we have moved away from engineering, uh, that certainly is absolutely uh, necessary in order to solve uh, problems and that's what we are teaching uh, at our school. But uh, it goes far beyond engineering. The, the water issues are essentially social issues and therefore they require uh, knowledge an understanding of social dynamics and the management of social change. Uh, fixing the pipeline is not enough anymore. 